Hey guys, it's Monday morning. I got a lot of work to do today. I sold 22 things on eBay over the weekend, so we're going to ship that out. Uh, that shouldn't be unlocked. Uh-oh. Forgot to lock out before I left for the weekend. All right, that's not good. I always lock this door before I leave. Hello? <gasps> Pete? Hi, John. What are you doing here? Uh, I hope you don't mind. I was passing through Cincinnati and, you know, my, my business is a little slow. I need some inventory. Is that okay? Of course. Take whatever you need. Oh, thank you, sir. I, I found these. Look, Vicky's gonna love them. Alright guys, I got Pete here with me. He is on his way to North Carolina to deliver a very special piece. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this on his channel. It's just a one-of-a-kind, incredible autographed book. You want to show what you got here? So, this is about 100, 100 years old now. I should actually put my gloves on. But So this is, this is a journal that Charles Kamiski owner and founder of uh, Chicago White Sox took the whole two teams White Sox and New York Giants on a world tour in 1913 and 1914 and they end up hitting 32 countries and this book has all the players signatures on them and anybody who was really important that they thought it was important even including a captain of the ship when they were coming back which is SS Lusitania that was sunk a year later by the Germans. Okay. So this is an incredible piece of history here. Now, a book overall is a little rough. Some of the pages are falling out. Like the first page starts, this is the date, December 12, 1913. And this is Anna Kamiski, that's his wife. That's him right there, Charles Kamiski. And then there's just Total of 62 signatures, about 20, 25 signatures of the wives, but most of her are the players. I don't know if you can uh, recognize any signatures. John. John McGraw. John McGraw. So he was a Giants manager at that time, you know? And he says, around the world together, 1914, best wishes. Sailing from Shanghai to Hong Kong, Sam Crawford. Yeah, and just, you know, I mean, look at the writing. I mean, like some of these are done with the, with the fountain pen, so they're so cool. The writing is just incredible, you know? That is such a cool piece. And of course, the page, page that I got here that it's marked, this is the page that they show with the certificate. That's the one that they chose to show, which is uh, uh, Jim Torp. And they're listing all the more notable players in this book that, you know, that signed, but there's a total of 62 signatures, you know? It's just incredible piece of history. I mean, so yeah, this was a private sale. Thanks to YouTube viewers, you know, one of the viewers said, hey, I want this. Yeah. And we made a deal on this close location and on this close amount. I mean, uh, so, but uh, it, it's, let's put it this way, it's worth my trip. Yeah, <laughs> worth your trip. So yeah, incredible piece of history. That is amazing. I'm glad I got to see it. Yeah, it's one of a kind, you know? Definitely one of a kind. Like, there's a, um, let's see. There's a few pages here that are actually, they list that they are on SS Lusitania. Look at that writing. Isn't that incredible? Memory of a short but pleasant tour of the world. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Nobody writes like this these no. days. Cincinnati, Ohio. They made it all the way back here. 
Now we just gotta drive 10 more hours to North Carolina to deliver it. Yeah. I'm not even halfway there, so, but it's well worth it. Well worth it. Pete, thank you again for stopping by. I really enjoyed having lunch with you and just talking shop and just hanging out. It'd been a long time since I'd seen you. You guys might not know this, but Pete is the reason I started a YouTube channel. I was watching his videos like early 2017 and I just thought it was so cool how he would show his whole shop, like what he was doing, just like sharing his knowledge. And I'm like, you know what? I think this would be pretty fun if I did this. Obviously, I only know a fraction of what Pete knows, but the whole point of this YouTube community is just sharing what you do know and you get this big collection of people that are all sharing their knowledge and just helping each other really grow as resellers and you wind up learning so much more than you ever would have just learned on your own. I highly doubt that there's anyone watching this that doesn't already know Pete the Craigslist Hunter but if by some miracle you don't know who he is I'm gonna put a link down below in the description of the video. He's by far my favorite YouTuber just the best reselling channel that's out there. So definitely check it out. All right, now I'm gonna transition over to the eBay orders and what sold portion of this video. Okay, first two things I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. This is a sealed ET beta tape, not a VHS. Uh, if you guys ever see these, they can bring some okay money, especially if they're new in the plastic. This sold for $19.99, free shipping. And these are some military patches. They sold for the same price, $19.99, free shipping. These are going to be your name, John. John, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I guess down here at A6. It is an Xbox... I think it's Xbox One, uh, Recon Chat headset. This was in all those video games that I just recently bought. This was new in the packaging. I sold it for $14.99 plus shipping. This is going out to viewers Roy and Kim who also have a YouTube channel called RK Treasure Center. They work really hard on their channel and they do a great job of sharing all their knowledge with resellers. So I highly recommend checking them out. Okay, in that same bin, I sold a couple more things. I sold the Sega Game Gear. I got this to kind of power on, but it didn't play games. It seems like anytime I find Game Gears, I can pretty much count on them not working. This was in that big lot of video games I got, so I don't have a whole lot into it. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And this is also going out to viewer. You guys are seriously spoiling me with all of these sales. Josh bought this. Josh, thank you for the support, and I hope you get this up and running. All right. This also sold out of there, The Hobbit for GameCube, not going to a viewer. Uh, this sold for $10.99, free shipping. Okay, another game out of here. This is a little Game Boy game. Game & Watch Gallery 2. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. This is going out to a viewer who was a young reseller named Noah, who says he's kind of new to reselling, just getting into it. So Noah, thank you so much for the business, and I wish you nothing but luck in reselling. Okay, next thing we're shipping out is a VCR. I believe it is this one right up here. I got this at a garage sale last weekend. Uh, it was $3, and it was wrapped in some kind of plastic at the time. Didn't have the box, but it was wrapped in plastic, had like a Best Buy receipt. I think it was some kind of like refurbished model or something like that but it is an absolutely mint condition and the remote has never even been taken out of the plastic the batteries haven't been taken out of the plastic so i don't think this thing got hardly any use uh tested it worked great sold for 39.99 plus shipping all right next is up here in c1 this is a t-shirt i got for free last weekend at a garage sale i bought a garage door opener at this sale and i asked how much their t-shirts were and she said just take one and i said okay that sounds great it is alf washington dc tourist uh, definitely vintage. It's a little small, so I think if it was bigger, I maybe could have gotten a little bit more money for it, uh, but it sold for $17.99, free shipping. Next down here, B6. It is a Derwin James autographed jersey with JSA authentication. Picked this up last weekend at a sale. I've got right around $20 into this and sold for $49.99, free shipping. Let's go to Kareem who says, had to buy this after watching your new video. Kareem, thank you for the business. I really hope you like that jersey. All right, next are a couple of bumper stickers. These two right here. I've only got a few cents into these. Uh, the pair sold for $19.98, free shipping. And you guessed that these are going out to viewer. Viewer named Joey bought these. Joey, thank you for the support. It means a lot. Okay, next thing is right here. This is an Eagle Fish Finder. Got this at a garage sale. About a month ago, I think. I paid five bucks for it. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, back to B6. Sold another jersey out of here. This is the Darius Geis jersey I just picked up. Autographed with um, a COA from Leaf Authentics. I've got $20 into this. Sold for $49 plus shipping. Your name's John about this. John, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next is another VCR right here. This is the Shiba. 
I got this at the same sale as the other VCR. It was also only $3, and it came with the original box, the styrofoam packing, just everything, and it was in excellent condition. This sold for $69.99 plus shipping. So if you guys see VCRs, if they're cheap, if you've got the remote, just go ahead and pick them up because they seem to be selling pretty well. All right, next is over here in B4. This is a Cleveland Indians jacket, similar to the other one that I found at that garage sale, like, I don't know, two months ago. Paid 10 bucks for this. Took a bus offer of $34.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to your name, Jeff. Jeff, thank you so much for the business. I hope you like that jacket. Okay, next is a couple things up here in this box. These are the cosmetics I just got at the garage sale last weekend. Decided to put these in a box instead of a bin because I didn't want any of them like busting open and breaking loose and making a big mess. I've got, let's see, I think it's roughly three or four dollars each into these. Um, these two are actually free. These are a throw-in. Uh, this pair sold for $16.99, free shipping. And I sold one of these uh, Fortifying Ultra Gels for $17.99, free shipping. Okay, next thing we're coming down here to C6. It is some glassware that I sold. These are Irish glasses. I pulled these out of the big storage units that I recently bought. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's got a pretty cool design. This set of six sold for $39.99. Plus shipping. Uh, going back over to B6. I forgot that I sold something else out of here. I sold both of these Disney Cricut cartridges. I paid six dollars for the pair and one buyer bought them both. Um, they sold for $64.98 free shipping. And moving over here to F6. Let's see, I sold this vintage Fisher Price ring stacker. This thing was really clean actually. Got this at a garage sale for Two dollars. It sold for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. This is going out to the viewer named Bethany, who has an eBay store called Embark Mountain. She didn't ask for a shout out, but I'm giving one anyways. If you guys want to check out her eBay store, I'll put a link down below in the description. And Bethany, thank you for the support. All right, coming over here to B two. Sold this Mazak trucker hat. I've had this like well over a year. Somebody sent me an offer of $5 plus shipping, and I accepted. The viewer named Will bought this. He says that he and his buddy just randomly send weird stuff back and forth to each other. So... Well, thank you for the business, and I hope your friend gets a kick out of this. Okay, last thing we are pulling today is back here. This is a Carroll Town Collection Restaurant. I do okay with these. If you get the right ones, you can make a little bit of money. I found this at a garage sale for $3, and I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The thing I like about these is usually when you find them, they've already got the styrofoam packing in there. So even though they are breakable, you don't have to bubble wrap the actual piece itself. I'm going to bubble wrap the box and do a whole bunch of extra packing just to make sure that this thing arrives safely. Now it's going to be your name, Catherine. Catherine, thank you for the business. I really hope you like that piece. It's Tuesday morning and today I'm heading up to Cleveland for a private pick and my morning's already started off a little bit slow. I've had some car troubles and I've got some eBay orders to ship out and I'm pressed for time. So I went ahead and just pulled them all out, got them in a row. I'm going to show you guys what I sold. So this uh, super Tecmo Bowl for NES uh, with the Nintendo sleeve. This is part of that uh, recent book by video games I made. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. Next is this Teletubby. This sold for $13.99 free shipping. I actually got that for free. My mother-in-law gave me a handful of those to sell. Next is this big garage door opener, Chamberlain Liftmaster. Picked that up at a garage sale last weekend. I paid $30 and sold for $139.99 plus shipping and the box is a little bit beat up it's got all the packing material and everything but i'm going to put this in another box just to make sure that it arrives safer this is a really cool piece uh, this is a mash vodka dispenser i got this last weekend at a garage sale for a dollar and it sold for 34.99 plus shipping this is going out to your name sam who also has an ebay store called uncle sam's garage sam thank you so much for the support if you guys want to check out his ebay store i'll put a link down below in the description okay the last thing i'm shipping out is this big gauge i've had this for quite some time it's been like a year or more i got it at some kind of like warehouse sale as part of a book deal that i made so i don't have much into it uh, i took a best offer of 20 dollars plus shipping on this that's it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time <laughs>